After almost two weeks of virtual deadlock, the pro-government forces operating in Northern Hama have resumed their offensive against the combined militant groups of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, the Free Syrian Army, including its various sub-franchises, and Arar al-Sham. The delay had been caused by both bad weather and the need to wait on elite Syrian Arab army reinforcements, namely the Tiger Forces, to be moved into the target sector. The 16th of April proved to be a refreshing day for the pro-government cause. During the early daylight hours, the Tiger Forces stormed the strategic town of Saran, clashing directly with the Hayat Tahrir al-Sham terrorist group. The attack was made from the south out of the town of Ma'ades. In addition to this, the Tiger Forces also launched an assault on Tal Bizam, which had been surrendered by them to jihadist forces at some point earlier in the month. Nonetheless, the attack on Saran represented the main axis of the Tiger Forces' advance, and to this end, the storming party was heavily backed by Russian air power, which fulfilled the mission of deep air support, striking at jihadist fire support positions and communication lines north of the town. Furthermore, the Tiger Forces advanced under cover of a rolling artillery bombardment which targeted terrorist forces in and around the town. After a more or less 12-hour battle, the Hayat Tahrir al-Sham terrorist group was ejected from Suran and Tal Bizam, with the Tiger forces securing both areas. The victory restored almost all the areas lost by pro-government forces to the jihadist Islamist coalition since March 21st. In the preceding days, pro-government forces also made a push on Halfiya, advancing through most of the countryside to its south, but failing to successfully storm the town. Moreover, the 16th of April also witnessed the Free Syrian Army carry out a fluke artillery attack attack against the Hammer military airport. Here, a single BM-21 multiple launch rocket system firing a full salvo of 40 rockets against the airbase destroyed both a MiG-23 fighter and a munitions storage center. On a final note, the latest reports for the 17th of April indicate that the Tiger forces are in the process of storming the town of Taybat al-Imam. That pro-government forces are now attacking jihadist Islamist militias beyond the demarcation line of November 2016 appears to vindicate earlier estimations put forth by various observers that the Tiger forces have not just been sent to Hammer as part of a fire brigade action, but instead to carry out an offensive which will either severely reduce or outright destroy the protrusive militant salient which has threatened the city of Hammer for the last four years.